Hi friends, good to meet you back. This video is going to be about creating a chat bot in IBM Watson. We are going to create a coffee bot which is basically going to take the order of coffee from the users. In order to create that, you need to have an IBM Watson account. If you don't have an account, you can easily create a free account. Basically, in this chat bot, there are going to be three main components. One, one is the intents and next is the entities and then the dialogue. Intents are basically the questions or the intentions of the users. They are the questions that the customer will ask in order to fulfill their goals. And entities are going to be the values that is going to be detected from the intents or from the questions of the customers. So when the customer is asking about like, I want a hot coffee, then hot is the entity. Or if the customer is asking, I want a latte, then latte is the entity. Okay. And the next one is the dialogue. These are going to be the responses from the chatbot back to the intents. So within intents, there are going to be three main intents that we are going to define as part of this demo. One is going to be the welcome intent where the user would be asking the first questions like, uh, hey, how are you kind of thing. And the second one is going to be the order item entity, which would be related to the questions that the user is asking about what kind of coffee he or she wants and then the last one would be the thank you intent wherein the order would be fulfilled and the user would be telling okay thank you i am all done and in the entities there are going to be three entities that we are going to define one is the item name this is going to be the type of coffee that the user is going to ask and it can be like say mocha or cappuccino or latte and uh, the item size it's going to be small medium or large for a typical coffee and then hot or cold which is going to have either hot or cold which is the type of coffee and in the dialogue we are going to have three uh, sections in it as well these are the corresponding sections uh, to the intents so basically the response from the chatbot back to the intents uh, to the corresponding intents is going to be in the dialogues so let's get started. I have opened up the browser and I'm typing IBM Watson login. And in the search result, I get IBM Watson uh, and the link is dataplatform.cloud.ibm.com. I'm clicking that link and I'm just using try it for free. And uh, it asked me an email ID. I'm going to give my email ID and the other details to create the login. Now I have logged into the IBM cloud portal. In the search bar, I am typing Watson assistant. So I am just selecting all the default options and then I am just hitting the button create. This is going to create an instance of a Watson assistant for me which I could use for this coffee bot. It is going to take some time. And once it is created, I just uh, see the screen and I'm just going to hit launch WhatsApp assistant. So once I hit the launch button, I am asked the name of the assistant. Here I'm going to give the name as Autumn Coffee Bot. I'm going to create a skill The name of the skill I am going to give us Autumn Coffee Bot skill. And now we are all set. We can go ahead and create the intent that we had discussed before. So the first intent as we have discussed, I am going to name it as welcome. And in welcome, I am going to type few samples. These are typically the user questions and here I am typing can I order a coffee? Can you take a coffee order? Hey, I want a, I want to order a coffee. Hi, can I order a coffee? So these are different variations that the user can ask. In the practical scenario, you will have to add more variations of the same questions. And 
I am going to save this intent and uh, I am going to come back to the dialogue. Dialogues are the responses back from the chatbot to the users. Here there is going to be two dialogue which are pre-filled. One is going to be the anything else dialogue. So I am just going to add the anything else, modify it. I am going to delete all the existing dialogues within anything else and I am going to just use this dialogue as the starting dialogue from the chatbot. So I am going to type in hi I am a coffee bot what can I do for you or how can I help you. Here I am going to delete the welcome node of the dialogue which is pre-existing and I am going to create a new node by clicking the button add node. In this node I am just giving a condition if the assistant recognizes the welcome intent then this could be the typical response. So uh, I am just defining the response sure what you need sure what order can I take for you so these would be the dialogues back from the chatbot to the user and then I am going to hit the tryout button basically to test if things are working as per plan so when I try that out the bot says Hi, I am a coffee bot. How can I help you? So this question comes from the bot from the anything else node of the dialogue. Whatever we have defined. And then the user says, I want to order a coffee. So uh, the, 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 this particular question from the user, it has been detected that it is from the welcome intent. So you get that message of the intent name. And then based on that, the response given back by the bot is, sure, what do you need? I can also ask one more variant of the same question. Can I order a coffee? And that is also recognized as the welcome intent. And the answer is, sure, what order can I take for you? So now this welcome intent and the corresponding dialogue is working properly. We'll go to the next part and I will define one more intent. So we had discussed that the second intent is going to be the order item intent, which is going to take the details of what type of order that the user would want. So here, as the example questions, I am just going to give only one question for you for now and I will just explain why that is going to be only just one question. The question is going to be I want to order a latte. So I am going to come back and I am going to define the entities. As we have discussed, I am going to define three type of entities. One is going to be the item name I am creating the entity and then within the item name entity I am going to give the values these values are typically the names of the copies so I am going to give cappuccino as one of the value and I am going to add more values brewed coffee espresso shots flat white latte mocha and that's it so I have defined the item name entity I am going to define one more entity so now we have got the coffee values for the coffee names now we need to get the size so I am going to define one more entity for the size size and I am giving the name as item size. I am creating the entity and for the values I am going to give small, medium and large. 
in the large i am going to give the synonyms as big because large some of the customer instead of large they can also ask for a big latte or mocha and then now we have also got the item size now i am going to define one last entity which is going to take the value of hot or cold i am naming the entity as hot cold and the values i am just giving two values hot and cold so now we have defined all the three entities that we have discussed and i am going to the dialog and here i am going to define few more responses that could be coming out from the chatbot so i am going to add a node and here i am just giving if the assistant recognizes the entities and in the entity name i am going to give the item name and the item name consists of espresso or cappuccino or brewed coffee etc and it can be any of these item names so if the chatbot recognizes any of these item name entities then it is going to ask the next question back to the user okay what size sure what size do you want we have small medium and large sure what size here i am going to add a child node and in this child node to the item name i am going to check for condition in the entity which is going to be item size so it can be any of the item size if the user either mentions small or medium or large then the chatbot is going to ask back to the user okay hot or cold fine hot or cold and i am going to just mark random because these three questions as of now would be coming in sequence as a response from the chatbot so now if i click random it could just come in a random way and i am going to add one more child node for the item size and here i am going to check the entity name as hot and cold and if it is having any of the entity then i am going to ask back to the user or the chatbot is going to ask back to the user fine your order is confirmed do you want anything else so in this stage the chatbot has got all the information from the user which is going to be the coffee type what is the size of the coffee whether it is going to be a hot or cold coffee and so the next question from the chatbot should be typically okay do you need anything else so in order to do that i am just uh, asking fine you your order is confirmed do you want anything else the second variant of the question is okay your order is confirmed anything else and as you can see we have defined three nodes um, which is like a nested node and these nodes or the dialogs are going to house the responses from the chatbot on the coffee and i am going to move this node after the welcome node so first typically the user would be asking the welcome question and then the user would be giving more details about what kind of coffee he wants so i am just ordering it in the same way next i am going to create a thank you intent this thank you intent is going to be used to end the conversation between the user and the chatbot here the name of the intent is going to be thank you intent and the user is going to ask thank you i am done thank you i am fine thank you that's all i need so for this user intent there should be a corresponding dialog that should be defined as a response from the chatbot 
here I am going to create a dialog, add a note to it, and uh, I am going to just uh, check if it is going to be a thank you intent. Then the chatbot is going to respond back saying, "Fine, you are now being redirected to the payments page. Welcome, you are being redirected to the payment page. Thank you, you are being redirected to the payment page." So this ends the conversation between the chatbot and the user. The chatbot has got all the details from the user and it has given the order and the user is now going to be directed to the payments page to, the make, to make the payment and grab the coffee. So the thank you intent, I am going to just have it after the item name intent because in chronological order, thank you intent is going to come at the last. So now let's quickly test if this chatbot is going to work. So I am going to just hit a tryout. I am going to clear the existing messages. I am typing in hi, I want to order a coffee. Sure, what do you need? Is the response back from the chatbot? I need a coffee to know. So here the cappuccino value, it's detected item name and uh, based on that the response from the chatbot is sure, what size do you want? We have a small, medium and large. I am just typing the response as large and large it has detected that it is from item size entity and based on that it is asking okay hot or cold. I am typing back, I will go with cold and the chatbot says, okay, your order is complete. Anything else? I am typing in, I am fine. Thank you. So this, the chatbot has detected that it is from the thank you entity, sorry, intent. And so it is responding, fine, you are now being directed to the payments page. So, so far it has it is working fine uh, this is the simple chatbot and in the practical situation you will have to kind of make a lot of variations in it and lots of calculations in the background and once it is done you can integrate it with any of the available services that is provided by the IBM Watson uh, right now the few of these services are uh, Facebook Messenger Slack or you can also integrate this chatbot with your own uh, business web page whatever you want you can do it i think this video was very useful for you please subscribe to my channel and you can see lots of useful videos thank you very much